Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should always enter bills into QuickBooks as soon as you receive them. To enter a bill, select Vendors and then choose the Enter Bills command from the menu bar to open the Enter Bills window. The top half of the Enter Bills window is where you enter the bill information. The bottom half of the window is where you assign the bill amount to different expense accounts or list the inventory items that are purchased. When entering bills for inventory items received, note that the Bill Received checkbox at the top of the window has a checkmark in it by default. You should only clear the check from this box if using QuickBooks for purchase orders and inventory and you want to record items you have received but have not been billed for yet. Removing the check from this box in that situation changes the transaction into an item receipt instead. When entering a bill, select the name of the vendor that sent you the bill from the vendor drop-down. Ensure that you have entered the date on which you received the bill into the date field. Enter the bill's number into the reference number field. Then enter the amount of the bill into the amount due field. Ensure that you have the correct due date set by using the bill due drop down field. For bills you receive that are not related to purchasing inventory, enter the expense account this bill will affect in the Expenses tab at the bottom of the bill. That way, when you later create the check that pays this bill, you won't need to re-enter any accounting information. On the Expenses tab, note that you can allocate the total amount of the bill shown in the Amount Due field between multiple expense accounts. To do this, choose the first account the bill affects and then enter the amount to attribute to that account into the Amount column. Then click into the next row under the Account column and select the Next Account affected by the bill amount. Enter the amount to attribute to the second account into the amount column within that row. Continue to repeat this process as needed until you have allocated the total amount of the bill to the necessary expense accounts. After entering the bill and attributing it to the correct accounts, you can save the bill by either clicking the Save and Close button to save the bill and close the window or clicking the Save and New button to save the transaction and leave the Enter Bills window open for further bill entry. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.